Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions and this is the video review of the Cooler Master Storm Sniper Black Edition gaming case. When we take a look at the front of the case, we've got a power button, a fan speed controller, we have multiple USB ports and a firewire port, an eSATA port, a headphone and microphone jack, a hard drive activity LED, we also have a power LED. On the front of the case, we have five drive bays. This includes one that can be turned into a 3.5 inch drive bay rather than the standard 5.25 inch one. You might like to install a fan controller here, it all depends on what you want. The great thing about the 3.25 inch drive bay is that it doesn't really stand out. This square fan that you can see on the screen now is a 200 by 30 millimeter fan that spins at around about the same speed as the one at the top. One of the good features about this case is that it has movable feet. This can allow you to stabilise the case. These can also be removed if you want and replaced with the standard circular ones found on normal cases. The only real mention of the Cooler Master Storm branding on the case is a small logo on the side panel. When you open the side panel you can clearly see the cable management system. Using the cable management system you can literally hide away your cables and this gives you no excuse for untidiness. When you remove the side panel on the case, this is the one with a bit of mesh on it, you'll see a little cardboard box. This contains several key accessories such as cable ties, screws, extra drive bay covers, and a random manual or piece of paper that you'll never really need. The first thing that you should notice when you first open the case is the infamous Cooler Master toolless hard drive mounting feature. What you're watching now is me trying to demonstrate how easy it is to do this by pretty much taking them all out and putting them back in again in a matter of seconds. The hard drive mounting is not the only toolless feature that this case has. The drives are also able to be installed without the use of a tool. This is thanks to the same kind of design as the toolless hard drive. The main layout of the case is pretty standard but there is a lot of room for optional fans to be installed, which will therefore increase airflow. The power supply is also to be mounted on the base of the case instead of the top, which means there is absolutely no risk to your components. Now you may have noticed the large fan attached to the side panel, while well, this is a 200 by 30 millimeter fan. Connecting the side panel fan to the power supply is pretty simple, however sometimes the wire can be a bit of an inconvenience. On screen now are the basic specs for this case, you can pause it just to have a quick look. Ok let's get into the positives and negatives. The first positive to this case is there are a lot of opportunities to improve the cooling capabilities due to the frequent appearance of ventilation holes and large silent fans. Having movable feet is a great aspect of this case that ensures maximum stabilisation. Unfortunately the last vent at the bottom of the case can bring a lot of dust if you have a carpet under your PC. I think the cable management on this case is second to none because it allows anybody to pretty much make sure he or she has no ugly cables laying around which may jeopardise the cooling or even the airflow. Overall this case is a great buy despite some minor flaws. If you're a hardcore PC gamer or just an enthusiast this is definitely a case to consider. Thanks for watching but before you go I do actually have a second channel where you sort of get a different perspective of me and this is where I'll be filming every day of my life until well, I'm not sure yet, but feel free to click the link now on the screen to go directly there and enjoy. They're sort of like daily vlogs, so yeah, check out what I do on a daily basis, and yeah, we'll go from there. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is Ads Productions. Again, thanks for watching.